Three years ago, I built this little space shuttle, the micro shuttle, I call it. Well, and I thought maybe we could make it even smaller. Hello everybody and welcome. Yes, this is sort of a remake or maybe improvement on the micro shuttle I did in 2017. And here you can see it on the launch pad. The orbiter is only a mere 709 kilograms, while the entire launch vehicle is below 20 tons. And you can see here Jebediah Kerman in his pilot seat with not much protection aside from his spacesuit. And yes, we are already on our way. And yeah, the first time I built this, or the previous version I built, People were complaining that I did not really do a launch vehicle like the Space Shuttle in miniature form. Well, I hope you are now satisfied. Anyway, a lot has happened since the first version of the Micro Shuttle was built. You can see a size comparison here. And you will also see in a few seconds a size comparison between these two little shuttles and a sort of real-size space shuttle in Kerbal Space Program. Basically, you could fit both of those tiny little things in there. But back to the ascent where we ditched the solid rocket boosters. A lot has happened in these three years since I built the first micro shuttle, and there are new parts and new features in Kerbal Space Program that can help us build this, or that helped me build this. The three engines in the back are doing overtime to keep this straight. I also added RCS modules on the front to assist with steering, but fortunately I managed to do fine on this run. It was not my first. Okay, first, uh, as soon as we are uh, high enough, we can ditch that big fuel tank. And yeah, we ditch also the engines because we don't really need them. The shuttle never needed them, they just uh, stuck them on there to bring them back because they were so expensive. Still are, by the way. But the SLS, that, uh, the space launch system that is going to use basically the same type of engines, the RS-25 hydrogen oxygen engine, they are just going to dump those in the ocean, yeah. Not much cost saving going on there. Anyways, we are now starting to circularize with our tiny orbital maneuvering system, which is one of the, uh, is it the flea or the ant? I forget how these engines are called, but basically we have the tiny round uh, gold fuel tank and we have this tiny little engine and we are managing fine to get into a stable orbit around Kerbin. And what do we do once we're there? Well, of course we release our payload, that's why we're flying up there, to get some payload into orbit. And it's just a tiny little microsat that uh, is going to do whatever microsatellites are going to do. You may have already guessed that I'm using the breaking ground robotics parts from the new expansion pack, well, not so new anymore, but from the expansion pack breaking ground to uh, create that cargo bay. And yes, I'm now going to show you the entire re-entry procedure in, uh, well, in sort of a sped up manner, like 500 times the speed that it actually happened, because I wanted to show you the ludicrous uh, way I um, had to get this through the atmosphere a tail first, because otherwise my Kerbal would have fried, and we don't want that. His spacesuit is not that good. Trying to get a little bit closer to the uh, launch site, or landing site, but I realized this is not gonna happen, and I thought maybe I could save the fuel and land and just drive over there with the help of my propulsion system. So I attempted landing here on the grass. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on here? Well, actually, this robotic part did not get the memo. I think what happened here was I originally built this in the spaceplane hangar 
and then I transferred it to the vehicle assembly building to add the external fuel tank and solid rocket boosters and somewhere along that operation the, the controller lost the information to control the front landing gear. But yeah, it would have looked a lot cooler if that had worked, but it is how it is. And we're going to land right about now, flaring up and whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost took a little bit of a nosedive there, but we managed to recover and we landed safely. So we got a 709 kilogram orbiter without payload and without Kerbal, of course, to orbit. And we got it back safely to the ground. And then I thought I should take a sort of victory selfie. And yeah, I forgot that those um, landing gears, they uh, or those wheels, they don't really have brakes. <laughs> and yeah, this happened. So I am chasing my own spacecraft, which was fun in a not kind of fun way. Look at it doing some circles and f uh, driving back and forth. And yeah, I had to stop it with my, uh, well, with Jebediah's entire body weight. Boom. There we go. So, again. Yeah, I thought, hey, the, the runway should be flat, right? So if we have a flat surface and we manage to, to get it really to a standstill, then it should stand still, even if it does not have any brakes, right? So yeah, the <laughs> traditional nose dive, is, I think this is going to be the, the, the maneuver of choice for this vehicle. And then I used my reaction wheels and sort of my, my wings to stop me and did so, but yeah, it never really came to an entire still, uh, still stand, stand still, of course. Anyway, yeah, that's my new micro shuttle. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I'm going to run behind my shuttle again. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.